Thank you for joining us for today's Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Tuesday of the first week after the Epiphany. Let us pray. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan proclaimed him your beloved Son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, Grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Mark, the first chapter, beginning at the 14th verse. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. They were all amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this, a new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. At once his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. Here ends the lesson. We often end our services at St. George's with a blessing that we may continue growing into being the people God has created each of us to be, so we can go out into the world to do that which God is uniquely gifting and calling us to do. Now those are powerful words that we see lived out by simple fishermen like Simon, who we will come to know quite well as Peter, his brother Andrew, and the sons of Zebedee, James and John. Listen to what they did. Immediately they left the life they were living and courageously went to go for the and do that which God had uniquely gifted and was calling them to do. And what about the man with the unclean spirit? Even an unclean demon of a spirit could not hold this person back when he heard the call of Jesus. And then what happened? Well, they were all amazed. When we go forth in the name of Jesus, there are no promises that this life will be more comfortable or less challenging. Indeed, all you have to do is look at the lives of these two sets of brothers, and by most standards I'm aware of, unless something drastically changes, even during our most challenging times, we have it pretty good compared to what they were called to go through. These words are as valid today as they ever have been. Listen carefully. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. Now to take on something new means to let go of something we already know. To live the life of love, hope, faith, and joy that our Lord is calling and equipping us to embrace. And he's calling us to embrace that relationship a little deeper and a little more sincerely. It also means that there's something in our current reality that we must also be willing to give up. If it is something of a sinful nature that keeps us distanced from God, then we have to start by repenting that sin so we can be free to move on and no longer carry that burden. 
if it's in leaving something we know, like some very proficient fishermen to leave their boats and nets to become fishers of people, God has given us to take on something more of a life of discipleship with our Lord. As you go through this day, see if you can hear how God is calling you to be ever more the person you were created to be. And listen for that so that you can do that which you are uniquely being called and equipped to do. Let us pray. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to reconcile the world to yourself. We praise and bless you for those whom you have sent in the power of the Spirit to preach the gospel to all nations. We thank you that in all parts of the earth a community of love has been gathered together by their prayers and labors and that in every place your servants call upon your name, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for today's Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, please join us for our worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoons or at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. I invite you to check our website for all of our virtual and in-person offerings. Thank you.